Hey, my name's Carla Marie Williams. I'm a songwriter and also artist manager. I worked at Xenomania working for acts like Girls Aloud, Alicia Dixon, and I produce and manage my own act, RD, aka Rough Diamonds. You don't need to be a musician to be a songwriter. You just have to have strong lyrical content and a good melodic flow. But you can collaborate with other people and get them to interpret musically what you need to hear underneath your melodies and lyrics. I don't like that. I think we need to change the note. It needs to go it somewhere needs to go else. What? It? it needs to go yeah. up. Yeah. I feel that the better songwriters are people who actually can't sing because they don't get carried away in doing, you know, vocal riffs or acrobatics with their vocals. Um, for me, it's about having a basic, strong melody that anybody can sing. I want to know who I've been and where you're rolling to. A melody is the tune of the song, the thing that people sing along to or whistle to. The top line of the song is either the lyric of the song, which we could be the title, like I will always love you, or the melody of the song, which is the tune that you actually remember, and it's usually in the chorus. When you're creating your top line, you want your top line to be as hooky and as catchy as possible. I'm just trying to, sorry, I'm just trying to, I think it should go to there. One of the songs that I've worked on is a song called The Boy Does Nothing by Alicia Dixon, and there were two main parts in that, that when we were writing it, that we really thought stood out, and one's the beginning part. I got a man with two And another hooky part was actually the chorus. I feel for that song, every part of the song is a hook. So if you go throughout the whole song, you probably could sing every single part like it was a chorus. When you've got an amazing top line, basically you start to develop what is called the song concept, what the song's about. So if you say, I will always love you, then go on to say, why will I always love you and what will I do to always love you? Why can't you leave me alone? I'm better off on my own. Usually producers send me um, loads of beats um, and backing track ideas. I usually loop a section of the, the backing track that I really like through my garage band. And then I then come up with a load of melodic ideas over and over and over and over until I feel exhausted. I then pick what I feel are the best ones. And then I start structuring my song together. Usually for me, the verse has to set the scene for the song. But as soon as it gets to the chorus, it's like, pow, this is what the song's about. When you get to the second verse, the second verse should be then going into even more detail about what the story is. So it's really important with lyrics that people can almost imagine it. It's like setting out each scene. So that's why the verse should be a scene, the bridge should be a scene, the chorus is a scene. So it all, it's like a little short movie. Lyrical ideas and inspiration, you should be looking in places like newspapers. A lot of the gossip magazines are really good for top line ideas. Whilst you're watching a film, someone might say a line that's interesting. And sometimes it's about real life situations. And usually it's about having one word or a couple of lines really punchy and to the point. I refer back to the lyrics when I've got a number of different beats that have come through from producers. I try and use the lyric on different beats and also use the lyric with different melody ideas. And whichever one I think sticks, then I'll use that. I wanna know, yeah, I wanna know what's up with you. But despite what you've heard here today from me, I still believe that there are no rules within songwriting. You just gotta go with what feels right and what you feel people will connect with.